Today I'm looking at a Mercedes with an active bonnet malfunction. See the owner's manual? What I found out is this bonnet goes, when you hit something like a pedestrian, or in this case a deer, the bonnet lifts at the hinges. It's this side of the bonnet up about two inches, and it's like a spring, so the bonnet's more like a trampoline to take some of the shock out if a pedestrian falls onto it. So a deer got in the way of the car, and it triggered that, although in this case the bonnet never opened at the back, but it's put the message on the dash. So now I'm going to see what's wrong with it and try and figure out what it needs. That's the car's details. Now this fault code will be stored in the airbag. Codes. Bus communication with the pedestrian detection sensor left. This is in the airbags in the active hood option. It knows the hood's closed. So we've got the right engine hood contact switch and the left engine hood contact switch. It knows it's closed. Right rear engine hood lifter within specification. We've also got right rear engine hood lifter in ohms. But we don't have anything for the left. Oh, we do. It's further up. It says it's okay. And it's 1.5 as well. So the lift does seem okay. It does look like it's more of a sensor issue then. There's a better view of it because it was totally blurry a minute ago. Left front bumper pedestrian sensor. That's the one that's giving me trouble. Doesn't say anything about it. And there's a front one and a right one, so we're getting some information, but it's not saying anything about them. Okay, let's come out of there and just check the wires. No, it was in here. Now I've got the there's three sensors in the bumper. Nothing to do with the position sensors for parking. These are different things. Didn't tell me anything about them though. They're all different codes. It's not really saying anything. These sensors, there's one here and one in there. It's the yellow, yellow sensor. You actually can't even see it through here. Right there. The yellow crash sensor, and there'll be one here, but it's this one that's faulty. I don't know if I can get this in here, if I can just see. I don't know if you can see. But just on the inside of there, there's a broken wire, and that's going to the sensor. just there you see it's broken off right there on the back of the bumper so I'm going to have to take the bumper out a bit and fit a sensor